I have finished from Pua Galatians 3.11. Nani mungina ataka kusoma mahali? Mama Joy Fungua, Mama Joy Elizabeth Mwalimu. Fungua wa Ibrania Kumi, Mustari wa Zalagini na Nani. Nimesema warumi sura ya kwanza mstari wa kumi na saba Mwingina wengine wa zifungue wa chaneni nazi Ayu ule mwingina afungue wa galatia tatu mstari wa kumi na moja Na mwingina afungue wa ibrania kumi Mstari ule wa baradhini na nani Aya, lena haza kusoma Romans 1.17 Yes For the gospel reveals how God put people right with himself it is through faith from beginning to end. As the scripture says, the person who is put right with God through faith shall live. It is faith from beginning. It is faith from beginning to end. Ni imani kutoka mwanzo kupakamushu. So wakumeka nimesema ya kwamba imeandikwa. Imeandikwa ye? The last part. Eh? Eh? The person who is put right with God through faith shall live. Mundula, kika mwenye na wazia, mundula mwekala anangai kwa isla mwikiyoni, ake kala. Aya, hiyo nyingine wakalatia tatu kumi na moja. Galatians 3 minutes. Aha. Kikia di, no one is justified by God. Eh. Because the righteous will live by faith. By the righteous will live by faith. Higher. Higher. Yes, Marimu. Hebrews 11. Hebrews 10. 10 and 8. Yes. My righteous people, however, will believe and believe. But if any of them turns back, I will not be pleased with you. My righteous people will do what? Will believe. My righteous people, however, will believe and believe. My righteous people will believe and believe. So, if a person is the church, he will say, the church shall live by faith. Ya kwa mba, when the heart of a man, ataishi kwa iman, Hizo ni balastati ni mekwambia ya kwamba Zinasema hivyo Zinaonge kitu kimoja Ya kwamba Mwenye haki Ataishi Kwa imani Mtu wa maya meokoka Ataishi Kwa imani Ibrania imesema ya kwamba However My righteous people Will believe To live Watahamini Ijikuishi Awezi amini Kama una imani Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuna mtu wako hapa. Imani ni nini? Imani ni nini? Kuna mtu aliye na Biblia ya Kikamba ama Kiswahili. Wacha nisome imani. Na kila mtu anajua basi. Wakati Biblia inasema ya kwamba wenye haki wataishi kwa imani. Imani ni nini? Abana uungano makeka la kwa mwikio. Abana kaangie makeka la kwa mwikio. Kwa ndio mwikio hii? Ni chao wa Ibrania 11. Wa Ibrania 11. Mustari gapi? Mustari wa kwanza eh? To have to be sure of the thing we hope for. To have is to be sure for the things we hope for. To be certain of the things we cannot see. To be certain of the things that we cannot see. Mtu mwingine asome. Hii tutasoma watu wengi sana. Wa Ibrania 11 mstari wa kwanza. Yule amefika hapo simama na usome. Hata kama ni Biblia gani. Na ile mwekeo ni kitu kila kitu mazazi ya Mungu, maungano mekwa kitu. Na kila kitu kila sia maungano mekoneka. Eh eh Yani mwikio, niki ikidia Cha maungwala metele tuwe Lakini mayone kaa Peki nwe telete Gaya kuike Peki nwe telete Kiki kena yone wangu Yuki laki ita Waki laki ikidia cha haki Maungwala sumo gina moke Kiu nisho kita wa 
kuwekewa na mwalunga tuikalani kwa ndo wacho ya kwamba kile ambacho tumeomba Bwana atakifanya kila kwa boya ni kusikia tetese na ngai akakita mtu mwingine hapo na Biblia soma kila mtu anaanza soma hiyo basi soma soma hata kama uko na Biblia gani Waebrania 11 mstari wa kwanza wale mabasa wangu watano wangekuwa mstari wa kwanza kusoma hii mko wapi Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things not seen. It is the evidence of things not seen. Haya, wengine asome. Hakuna mtu ako na Kiswahili. Hakuna mtu ako na Kigiriama hapa asome. Oh. Yaani Biblia na ita. Yewe Yumo andega chao kana ndio kesho. Yumo andega. Ana kusoma na. Ndiki gamba. Ndiki gamba ndio zao za kana gamba nukisi. Ye? Wasinda maana. Eya, basi imani ni kuwa na hakika ya mambo yatarajiwayo. Imani ni kuwa na uhakika wa mambo itarajiwayo ya mambo ambayo unayataraji sasa hiyo ndio imani tunachambua imani kama wenye haki wataishi kwa imani basi imani ni nini imani ni kuwa na uhakika wa mambo unayoyatarajia ya kwamba itakuja kutimia kwetu tuana muikio ni pigo wana kidu kiu kingine wa kanati nini boy ya mwili na mungu mbaki Onana kitanga ile jipoa nini sisi nguboa huko nene boy nini namwekie onana kitu twende awatia tundu kuna kwamba mtungo nene boy yemwe na ngendea ba hiyo yani he onana kitu twende ati ambo yani mateke kabisa kama kitu tunakwanga watu masikini na nimemwomba bwana nitoe katika umasikini huko na kwa bwana atanitoa hiyo sasa ndio imani kuwa na hakikisho inasema ni bayana ya mambo yasioonekana imani ni kitu au moja lakini kiko ndani yake kinakufanya uone vitu ambazo asipo kana kwamba ziko ye umemwomba Mungu akupatie gari na unaanza ukikaa hivi unaona mahali utaweka hiyo gari unaomba Mungu apanue biashara yako na ukikaa hivi unaona vile utaipanua ya kwa mahali utaweka shelf Mali utaweka eh, kimbo, mali utaweka kunumbani ya kilo moja moja, mali utaipanua iwe ka supermarket. Ya hiyo kitu inakuwa ndani yako na unakataa kwa kizingine ambacho unazisikia. And you hope ya yeah, kwamba unatarajia ni hivyo na ni hivyo na ni hivyo and nothing else. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ukisoma waje nisome mstari mwingine hapa katika biblia hiyo mstari hapa mwenye biblia ameiweka alama mtu wa imani lakini pasipo imani huyo ni mstari wa sita Ibrania 11 mstari wa sita inasema lakini pasipo imani haiwezekani kumpendeza kwa maana mtu amwendeaye Mungu lazima aamini kwamba yeye yuko na kwamba yeye na kwamba uwapo na wapo wale wa mtafutao sasa unakuwa na imani baada ya kuwa na imani unaamini ya kwamba Mungu yuko na yeye anawalipa wale wanao mtafuta ina maanisha kama hauna imani hauwezi pendeza Mungu kama hauna imani hauwezi advise vitu hauwezi advise vitu za Mungu sababu zinachukuliwa kwa imani namba moja unaomba ukiwa na imani ya kwamba utazipata na unaanza kuziona kwa imani na unazipokea kwa imani na unaishi nazo kwa imani it is all about the faith it is start with the faith and it ends with the faith hata kwenda mbinguni 
tunaamini kwamba tumeokoka tulipokea wokovu kwa imani tuliamini kupata wokovu tuliamini kupata haki na tunaamini kwamba wakati parapanda Italia ya kwamba sisi kutabadilisha mili yetu na tutapaa kumlaki bwana Yesu wa mbinguni na tunaamini hivyo bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo tuko na imani vitu zote zilianza kwa imani na tutaishi kwa imani na tutazikamilisha kwa imani wakati tutakutana na Bwana Yesu akwambie welcome good and faithful servant itakuwa ni kwa imani Paulo anasema hivi katika kitabu kile bali anaongea kuhusu imani ni kitabu kile Bwana mnashindana kuimba hiyo wimbo Ito ni me bonizo, ni boni ni boni, ni boni ni boni, ni boni ni boni. Timo dea wa pili, sura ni kama ya ine. Timo dea wa pili sura ya ine. Mungu afungue hapo. Lena uko wapi? Umefika? Ine usangu wa saba, soma. Eh, I have done my best in the race. I have done my best in the race. I have run the full distance. I have run the full distance. And I have kept the faith. I have kept the faith. I have kept the faith. Nimepigana vita kikawa inasemaje? Yeye. Neno kile cha kaula museo. Nene mine ta mwendo. Nene sobe ta ola mwikio. Nimepigana zile vita ambazo zilikuwa zinahitajika. Nime I have kept the faith. I have fought a good fight of faith. Yet in my life I man, ile imani nilikuwa nayo ya kwamba nitahubiri na nimuone Bwana Yesu. Nimeilinda na anamwambia sasa wakati wangu wa kufa uko karibu nange yoba ili maombi yako mesa wasao na nene si ituni nini yewe ngaombia ya Allah na tikwani wapa ni wewe kasoma hiyo ile kuatia and now they are uh, waiting for me the victory price of being put right with god na sasa ninangojea ile inangojea ama ile taji inaningojea ya ushindi The Lord the righteous judge will give me on that day. Ya kwamba ile Bwana Mungu ameniwekea na ameamua kunipatia siku ile. And not only to me. Na sio mimi peke yangu. But to all those who wait with love for him to appear. Ya wale watashikilia ile ibadi mpaka wakati Bwana Yesu atakuja. Those who will hold their faith and then that day and then the coming of Jesus Christ. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It is start with the faith. Yeah? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Are you here? Kuna mtu wako hapa? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wacha nisome maandiko hapa ili nimalizie. Katika kitabu cha Mathayo not Mathayo katika kitabu cha Marko Eh Marko sura ya 11 Ya Sura ya 11 mstari wa 12 Marko 11 12 Umefika hapo And on the morrow when they were come from Bethany he was angry and the thing of the tree afar off having leaves he came if happily he makes fight anything thereon and when he came to it he found nothing but leaves for the time of fig 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 figs was not yet and Jesus answered and said unto it no man eat fruit of thee thereafter 
forever. And his disciples had it. And they came to Jerusalem. And Jesus went to the temple. Eh, to look at you. Eh, wakache lieta. Eh, to some of the wa kumina tisa. Eh, and when was, eh, and when he then was come, he went out of the city. And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And the Peter called him to remember it, said unto him, Master, beyond the fig tree which thou castest uh, is with thee away. And Jesus answered him and said unto them, Have faith in God. Verily I say unto you, that whoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall doubt, shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he, are, uh, he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, whosoever, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. And when you start praying, forgive if you have ought against any that your father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you for your trespass. Here you study what we want to do. Yes, what you put up a woman who put you. And you are not given a majority in a car, a catalogia, matunda. Now, what you have to put up a woman who put you. Akakwasa matunda. Biblia inasema and they answer. Uwe musari unasema anakinini katika Biblia yako leno. Musari wa kumina ene. Fourteen. Jesus said to the fig tree. Jesus said to the fig tree. No one shall ever eat. Aya, sorry, mungine. Akajibu akawabia haya mwingine. Haya mwingine. Kwani wasomi wa Biblia unapanga Biblia za nini? Siku tunasoma hiyo tu ya kwanza tu. Yesu asongea wea haya muoge. Then he said to the tree mwingine. Wake, was yata, 
hata kama wakati huu sio wakati wa biashara kuna wili mtu wa imani ni kwamba biashara yake inasaidia kuna wili hata kama wakati huu sio wakati watu wapate kazi mtu wa imani kazi yake ipo Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sio hata lazima tumgojee eh uchumi utengenezwe ndio sasa pale tunapata ah ah mtu wa imani kazi yake iko. Hai mimi sema kwa roho ndio 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 sana kana baada nikaanza nikapata ngoja eh huyu ni mtu tena muikio. Mtu ana muikio ni kana hii. Ona silikali yeka ni wake wivo. Ona ngera makaa kwa mama nuru wa bano ni wake wivo. Mtu mtu wa imani na chakula yake juu iko ako ako hebo unajua Yesu kama angekuwa wa imani angecompromise na hali angecompromise na the state of the fig tree because labda kulikuwa kiangazi na watu haikuwa msimu wa hiyo hiyo miti kuwa na matunda na angetulia tu angetulia 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 aseme ah ni vile wakati haujafika lakini Yesu alikataa kutulia Aliambia mkuu, yani majibu inasema, sijui kama mshasoma hii, yani Yesu azungia mkuu. Yesa aisee kwa kibitu. Kwa Yesu asifiwe. Mtu wa imani, wakati mambo imefungamana kwa wakati maukuta zimejengwa kwa wakati vita inainuka, unasimamaka katika imani, unasema nimeharibu hiyo vita yote. Kwa jina la Yesu. I walk through, I walk through na unaanza kutembea. Wakati watu wanakwambia huu sio wakati wa kuanzisha biashara, ona unaianzisha. Ni imani. Na wakati alitamuka imani, wanafunzi wakasikia, wakaona mtu unatekeleka au au haujashtuka na ah, akasema hii. Na wakaenda, Yesu akafika Jerusalemu, akafurusha watu kwa hekalu, alafu yule siku nyingine akitokea Wanafunzi wa Yesu wakasema ni eh, ni vizuri sababu tutapitia ile njia na tutaona ule mkuu. Ndio? Yeah. Let me tell you, mtu wa imani, maandiko inasema ni kuwa na uhakika ya mambo yatarajiwa. Yesu alijua ya kwamba mkuu utakauka. Hautawahi pata matunda siku hii. Utakauka. Na Yesu akatamka hiyo maneno yake ya imani na akae. Ndio pitia hapo siku iliyofuatia matiko inasema na Petro akikumbuka ile maneno ya Yesu akamwambia manini kule mtu umekauka kule mtu uliula hali jana umekauka kwani huko na mchezo Yesu ni kama anawaambia mtu wa imani akuambi na mchezo maneno ambayo anatamuka inatokea mtu wa imani si mtu wa kuchezewa alafu Yesu akapata flat form ya kuwafundisha akawaambia mimi nawaambia hata wakati ukiwa na imani kuweni na imani ndani ya Mungu nimekuja kukuambia hivi umeokoka hadi yako ieleweki huko kanisani umekaa kwa wokovu kwa muda yani afei in god wacha hivi tarajiwa kwa sababu Yesu aliwaambia kuweni na imani ndani ya Mungu na akawaambia ninawaambia ya kwamba ukiwa na imani ndani ya Mungu hata mlima ukisimama mbele yako utakuwa na uwezo wa kuambia mlima toka ukajitoza bahari nao utatii so we, wakati Biblia inasema mwenye haki wa Mungu ataishi kwa imani hiyo imani wakati mlima utatoka mbele yako kuwa wa imani utauamrisha utoke kwa lakini mtu ambaye asiyekuwa na imani Yeah. Atasema ni kawaita. Atasema inawezekana ni kawaita. Eh? Yeah. Hii ni mapito. Eh? Yeah. Atakubaliana kama kwa njia nyingine ata embrace. Hiyo ni wewe sema maisha mengi. Eh? Hii ni wote sana kwa sababu ni maisha mengi ya. Lakini Mungu wangu hivyo hasa hii sio ndio yangu. Kakuna na kwa na baba na yambe na ya mwisho ndikaa kwenye ile baha. Ye, umma bewa kwa. Mungu ite mauta umma bewa kwa. Ndikaa kwenye ile baha. Lakini Mungu tena muikio. Azana uweze tena hiyo ile tena kwa mama mama. Yu kulia. Mwenye haki ataishi kwa imani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nataka kumaliza. Why free? Kwa nini imani? Kwa nini imani? 
kwa nini tuwe na imani na kwa nini tuwe na imani kwa Mungu kwa nini tuwe na imani tumejua imani na kwa nini tuwe na imani namba moja ni kwamba ni kwamba ukiwa na imani ndipo utakupeleza Bwana when you have faith you please God ukiwa na imani utampendeza bwana maandiko inasema ya kwamba hata eh, hata milima ingine hauta iona sababu umependeza bwana biblia inasema mtu yeyote akimpendeza bwana mungu anampatia kuishi na amani hata na maadui zake maadui zake wanamsupport kwa mambo mema yetu mama mama tiani mwende ambao Mungu amakupatia kuishi na amani na wao. When you please God, well, the Bible says when the man's ways is God, he makes his enemy to be at peace with him. With him. So when you have faith, you please God. Number two, why faith? Nasema ya kwamba faith controls your destiny. Faith in a control mwisho wako wakati unapata milima na milima unaibomoa kwa imani unaendelea katika mwisho wako kwa hivyo imani ndio ina inakupeleka ama inakukusipita njia hii na usipite njia hii imani ndio inakuelekeza katika mwisho wako mzuri baba mahali unataka kwenda ama mahali unataka kwenda bado inasema hivi kwa imani Ibrahimu alimwamini Bwana hata wakati muda wako wa kupata mtoto ulikuwa umepita so hiyo imani hata kama zingine zimeondoka ni kwamba hiyo imani ilikuwa na yeye na ilimpatia matumaini na ilimpatia hakikisho ya kwamba atakufa kabla hajaona mtoto wake the faith was there Bwana Yesu asifiwe alikuwa na imani as long as sijaona mtoto wangu itaendelea kuishi sitakufa bila kuona mtoto wangu Bwana Yesu asifiwe so faith was controlling his destiny destiny yake his destiny was not controlling but what went through it was being controlled by faith the faith in God this the evil yeye ndio kuongoa mimi yeye wote ndio ndio wa yes tima dena watu kuisela tia ndio watu kuisela tia mama yake ndio na mo ti connection yetu ndio so mwiki ya wito ngo ronga this the evil ngo ronga ya yuko kula kuendeti bana yesu asifiwe amen the three wise thing okay faith gives you access to god and his promises imani inakupatia kuzipata ama inakupatia kufikia Mungu na zile ahadi zake tunafikia ahadi za Mungu kupitia kwa imani and the bible says this is the confidence that we have in Christ that whatever we pray we receive hivi ndio hakikisho ambalo tuko nalo ndani ya Yesu 